Hello everyone, so, thanks a lot for stopping by this channel. So imagine you want to record some video or maybe to uh, to respond to a, a video conference or maybe it is Zoom calling, things like that, or WhatsApp calling, WhatsApp video. But it happened to you that the only device that you have is a computer box, it's a keyboard, your screen, and obviously your mouse. So you don't have a laptop to be able to do the video calling or whatsapp calling or zoom as you wish but unfortunately you don't have money to buy a laptop to be able to record those videos but do you know that it's possible for you to use your desktop computer i mean your keyboard your mouse your screen and your computer box to record video how is that possible? Yes, it is possible. You can actually turn your smartphone or your Android to a webcam. So the first thing you need to do is you need to install a software that is called Orion. Let me take you through it. You just open your, your, your browser here, uh, Google Chrome. So you type Orion webcam, obviously. So this is the one. You click on it. And this is the official website for or Orion webcam, you click on it. So when it gives you this option here, you've got three different options. You can install for uh, webcam for Windows, for Mac. These are the operating system is installed on your computer. Just think about which operating system that is installed on your computer, and then you can select accordingly. But as for my case, I'm using Windows, Windows 10 on my computer. So I'm gonna go for Windows version. I'm not going to install it. I'm not going to download it because I have already downloaded in my computer. So once you've already downloaded it on your computer, you can just install it. You know, it's very uh, easy to install in software which is already downloaded from your computer. So once it's already installed, you can just close this window here and then you're going to launch the software. All right, as for now, it's not doing anything because there are a few settings that we need to do for us to be able to use our phone as a webcam using Iron. So the next step is to go to my phone to do some to do some settings. So let me show you on, on the phone the settings that I need to make sure that they are enabled for me to use my phone as an Android. So this phone here is the one that I'm going to transform into a webcam. So once you've done setting your computer, there's something, there's few things that you need to do more, actually two steps that you need to follow for you on your phone, for you to be able to connect your phone as a webcam into your computer. First of all, you need to open your Play Store and then you search for, you search for Arian, sorry. You said for Arian webcam, this is one. This first choice, the one that pops up here, is the one that uh, you need to install. So you just select it. And then you're going to install this app like any other application that you use to install on your Android. You click on install. Once the installation is done, you can just uh, close this completely, this window here. Then you get back to your computer, sorry, to your to your phone. You search for this icon, the icon of uh, Iron Webcam, that uh, the one that you just came to install now. Try to open it. So for now, you can carry on if you want to, but uh, we don't want to carry on because you are not as yet yet to. We are not ready yet to start recording. So you can leave because there's two things that you need to do uh, for you to start uh, using uh, this app installed on your Android as webcam as webcam. So next up go to the settings of your phone you're going to look at two things here first of all go to about of phone about phone and then you scroll all the way down here yeah, you scroll you scroll down look for software information then inside software information we are looking for build number this one here this is the one we are looking for so you got to click seven times on this on this build number 
you will click one two three four five six seven for now it's not asking me any questions because as for me it was activated but for you if it was not activated yet after you've smashed seven times on build number it is going to ask you a question and just click on okay you know on, on yes just give some allowance to that question so that you can be able to do what you want so we're done with uh, uh, this idea about uh, the software information you have to go back to your setting and then after you give allowance on the about phone you have to now go to soft to you have to now go to developer options so we click on it and here we are looking at uh, why it says usb debugging you can see this is the one usb debugging so you can have to give allowance on this button if initially this button is off you need to put it on once you try to put it on your android is going to ask you this question saying that uh, you need to allow usb debugging and it's simple as that just click on ok as you can see this button here is now activated because it was off so once you've done these other steps now you can take your usb cable you plug it into your smartphone into your android and then at the same time you have to plug your usb cable on your computer so let's let now get back to the computer now so once you you are done setting up from your your, your telephone now we can do the magic so we can be able to use our phone as a webcam because you we have already installed Arion webcam on our computer we also install it on our phone and we've done the settings we've allowed our phone to be used as a webcam now we can go for it so what you need to do remember this is the phone that i'm going to be using for webcam what you need to do is to come to your computer then you double click on uh, Arion webcam if it asks you any question, just accept. But as for now, as for me, it's not asking me any question because I have already set it, set it from my computer. So it is working properly. So I'll come on my phone and look for Arion. Where is it? Here it is, Arion webcam. Then I click on it. I'll go to continue and then wait a little bit. Uh, within a second, it's going to send this. Uh, image to, to the computer all right there we go you can see now you can see this the, 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 this image here i'm busy now recording my for my computer so my phone now is used as a webcam let me try to shift it to that side you can see i'm showing you something different this is one of my this is another computer in my in my office you can switch the camera this one I'm using the I'm using now the rear camera, the front one. I'm using the other camera. Let me try to shift to the to the camera that can be able to to now uh, 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 videotape me. Let me switch. You see now it's recording me. So I'm using my phone as a webcam here. I'm using my phone as a webcam and I can record myself. So this is very easy. You can you can you can use it this way. And there's two options. You can either use Wi-Fi. You can either use Wi-Fi to connect to your computer to send the image to your computer, but unfortunately, as for Wi-Fi, especially when the connectivity or the connection of your uh, internet is not that strong, the image is not going to be good. So the best way I would advise you is to use a USB cable. You plug it into your computer, and then you use USB cable settings, just as I show you. So you can see. This was very easy to use your phone as a webcam. If you like this video, I'm just going to ask you to, sus to subscribe so that next time when I make another video, I'm going to publish and that can be beneficial to you. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.